I hope you're okay. Welcome back to my channel. It is April. Well, just into April now. But that only means one thing. It is Primark haul time. And oh my gosh, this month I have gone a little bit mental. I feel like they're really bringing out lots of new ranges and like lots of more summer wear and things now. So yeah, the stores are pretty full of newness. So I ventured into there as I do. I was getting a little bit carried away with myself. There was so much stuff I wanted. And as I do have a holiday in the pipeline now, I feel like it's even more acceptable to start buying summer stuff. So yeah, we're going to get straight into the video and show you what I've got because believe me, there is a lot. I'm going to try my best to style everything up. Some of it might just purely be try and clips just because there is so much stuff and I don't want to make this video like an hour long and yeah, it's just going to be a bit hectic because there are a lot of like, basic things as well. But yeah, I'm not going to ramble and I'm going to get straight into this but be warned, this is going to be a lengthy one so grab a cuppa, get yourself comfy and let's get on with it. So when I said I went in and brought a ton of stuff from Prime Mark, I definitely meant it. This is definitely one of the bigger Primark hauls that I've done. First thing I picked up from Primark was simply an A-line denim skirt. So this is what it looks like. I don't have any, well I think I have one denim skirt and it's in like a light wash fabric. But yeah I saw this and I just thought this would be perfect for the summer. I think denim skirts are always something that's quite easy to style just with like a simple cami and like a pair of sliders or something. Um, a nice belt as well. And yeah I don't actually own a like mid to dark wash I've got a really pale one but that's it but yeah I picked this up in a size 6 it was eight pounds I just really like it it's got nice distressing on the bottom as well and yeah I'm not too sure on sizing I didn't know if to get a six or an eight I was like standing there for ages trying to um and ah but I did go with the six in the end so we will see how that goes next few things are like basics because I always feel that Primark do amazing basics it's such a big range so the first thing is just a simple graphic tee this simply says a more on and it's just in red text and it's on a grey mall I got this in a size 10 because as you guys know I do like to wear my tees a little bit oversized um, and this is only four pounds so I just thought that for four pound it is an absolute bargain i do actually have something in one of these bags that i think will look nice with this a pair of red trousers so that will look cool um but yeah love that this is the simple graphic four pound tee styled with the wide leg trousers really nice casual a little bit more of a smarter casual look because obviously i've teamed it with heels so i always feel like whenever you team things with heels it just makes it look a bit more dressy i just simply styled it with the gray mole with red graphic tee because i feel like the red on the tee goes really nicely with the trousers and then i've just put a black waist belt this is from asos quite a new edition i got for my birthday and yeah just a black pair of strappy shoes really love this outfit and yeah another thumbs up from primark so following on from that and sticking to tees, I then picked up this simple red tee that just says do everything with and it's got a little love like emoji thing. Um, again, this was only £4, I got it in a size 10 and I really like the colour red. I don't actually think I own a red t-shirt. Is it red on here? Yeah, it is red. I'm like looking, I'm like, is that orange? Is that red? My, my eyes are going funny colours with all the lights on. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be again like another cute tee. Yeah, I really liked that so I got that. Okay, so this is how I've styled up the red tee i'm gonna take these sunglasses off because i feel like it's a bit rude inside <laughs> this just goes to show how something so cheap and affordable can look styled up the right way i absolutely love this i don't own a red graphic t-shirt and i'm all about just my slogan tees because like i said they're just the most simplest thing to style up every day and i think they look so like on point and just on trend so i have teamed it with these pretty little thing jeans which i love these are like the boyfriend fit jeans and they fit so nice and um, i've just sort of like rolled up the bottoms just because i always feel like when you roll the bottom of jeans up it just gives it that little extra edge and then i've actually just got a new pair of heels on from public design i got sent these this morning these are just some pointed toe perspex heels i love them they look so nice um, and then again my asos belt and my nasty girl bag yeah i'm absolutely living for this outfit okay so the next two things i got were admittedly the same but when you see something you like get it in every color that's my motto anyway so you guys know in the summer i love off the shoulder bardo tops they are just for me like a staple i love them i love the fit of them i think they're really flattering because they show like your neckline off i just love them so i absolutely loved these ones they're only so simple but like i said simple things are sometimes the most staple things in your wardrobe because it's how you style them up so i got this little black off the shoulder bardo top and as you can see it's in a gorgeous rib and what i really liked as well is it's sort of got like a, a frill end so it's got like just like a frill bit here and then on the bottom of it it's like 
frilled and even on the sleeves it's frilled. I got this in a size 8, I would have normally got a 6 but they didn't actually have a 6. Um, that was £4 and then I obviously got it in white because white is like the perfect colour for summer. This one they did have a 6 and I just really like that. Okay so this is what the basic bardo looks like on. I've styled it with the denim skirt which I don't know if you've already seen in this haul yet or not. Um, but yeah, do you know what? This doesn't fit how I thought it would. I think you're actually supposed to wear it like this. Um, so it's quite high because definitely not enough elastic around like the rim of this top of the bardeau to have it off your shoulders it's so tight like i've cracked it a little bit but there's just no stretch there so i definitely feel like this was probably supposed to be worn more like up here but i wanted it more downwards and actually like an off the shoulder bardeau so i don't know how i'm going to feel about that so yeah i'm not going to lie i'm a little bit gutted with the fit of this because it's not how i thought it would be there's just not enough stretch enough elastic to fit comfortably to wear it like this um so yeah, I'm going to see how the other one fits. Okay, so I've just tried the white one on with the same outfit just because I wanted to check the fit of this because the fit of the last one just was not right. It didn't feel right at all for a size 8. And there was definitely something wrong with that. This fits perfectly. This is actually a size 6. And we've got the elastic how it should be in the bardo. It fits so comfortably here. It's not all tight and like funny it actually fits lovely off the shoulders yeah there was just a fault with that last garment it was obviously a faulty bardo top I love it like i said just a simple basic top to go in your wardrobe for the summer months okay so the next thing i picked up from primark was this gorgeous body and this is definitely a new in because i didn't see it when i went into primark like four or five days ago and it definitely didn't have this in it's just this black and white striped again it's in a rib fabric body and i just really like the zip front detailing on this it's just got a little circle loop um, um, zip and yeah I just thought this again it was like a little basic body but this will look so nice doesn't have adjustable straps but I got it in a size 6 so I'm hoping that they got the straps right this was six pound and yeah really like that so the next top i picked up was in the same section on the basic sort of like section and it's just simply this like leopard print cami top now this doesn't look right because i was just trying to see if this was stitched back because it's basically like a cami top that goes into like a bit of a crop with like a a tie bit at the bottom um, and i wanted to see if it had just been tied or if it actually had been stitched and it had been stitched and now i've just sort of like took all the tie knotting out so i need to sort that out but yeah it's just simply this leopard print cami top in a ribbed fabric and this was only five pound and i got it in a size six and i just again i thought with the print being quite on trend like this will look really nice this summer again you know with a white denim skirt um, a denim skirt so yeah i thought i'd tried that so i didn't know how i feel about this top because i'm gonna be honest girls I'm not normally that much into leopard print. I feel like leopard print is sort of a love it or hate it print. And it just always, for some reason, reminds me of like Cat Slater from EastEnders. So yeah, I feel like sometimes leopard print can look on the tackier side. But leopard print done right and leopard print in the sort of right print can look amazing. Especially because it is such a massive trend at the moment. But I just want to try and incorporate something leopard print into my wardrobe this spring, summer. And this little cami is insane. I honestly love it so much. It fits it's perfectly for a size six and no adjustable you sort of normally know how it's gonna go it's just not gonna fit but no we have no issues the straps are staying up and i'm super happy the fit is lovely it's nice and tight and i've just put an extra little knot in it just so it goes above my belt and not like below because you can obviously undo this and sort of tailor the knot to how you want it to fit but I love it. There's nothing else to say. It's a really nice sort of day-to-day -day casual top, which you could easily dress up as well. And yeah, I just teamed it with the white skirt, which is featured in this haul from Primark, the belt, which is from Primark, and the shoes from Primark. And all Primark out of it again. Can you believe it? Okay, so the next thing I picked up was a pair of wide leg trousers. I really liked the print. These just caught my eye straight away. I love sort of printed trousers teamed with just a simple top half. I think that can be such a statement piece and make really just make an outfit. I took these, so they're just these like black base with like a floral pattern all over them they're in a crepe fabric quite a thin crepey fabric actually but at the same time i feel like it would be perfect for the summer because it's quite lightweight it also has a tie waist belt that goes on the top um that's the right way 
so yeah tie waist belt that goes on the top there and what did i get size six and these were 13 pound again i thought like these teams with a nice crisp white shirt would look cute even just like a black body would look really nice with these like a black lace body pair of heels and i just think this could be a really nice evening outfit so yeah i love those how about you but i just feel like these trousers look so much higher end and more expensive than what they are these are 13 pad 13 pad i mean i just love them i think they look so nice these are going to be perfect for like an evening on a holiday when you know you want to dress up and just look quite classy but not like overly dressed nice meal i've teamed it with just my free strap simple heels these are actually from primark but i got them a while ago and i've not seen them in sims but i'm so glad i did get them because i wear them with everything um, and then i've also just teamed it with a simple black body this is from miss pat we'll leave all the details in the description bar below but yeah there's not a lot else i can say these fit perfect i've got a belt strap so you could also just put a belt on if you wanted to style these with a belt but i have actually just left the like tie belt that comes with it just because i think it looks really nice it does have a slight paper bag waist detailing as well which i think adds a little extra something to the outfit and also it has pockets which i love so yeah these fit lovely they feel so comfy as well the fabric quality is really nice and yeah just absolutely blown away by these so yeah primark you've done good again okay so the next thing i picked up was another pair of wide leg trousers these are more like a daytime everyday casual chill vibe um admittedly these are selling out fast and i didn't think i was going to be able to find a pair of my size i probably would have wanted an eight in these because they just looked small but i don't know we'll see how they fit i got a six um these were eight pound and they're just these red wide leg trousers so they're just again in quite a thin fabric they've got a tie waist i don't really like that on the waist but i'll probably tuck that in but i just thought that like that teamed with the gray top would make like a really just cute everyday outfit um and yeah i just really liked them they seem really comfy as well like i said for just daytime chills I seriously feel like primark can just do nothing wrong at the moment i was not expecting to like all of this stuff as much as i do i absolutely love this the trousers are quite thin so i feel like they'll make a nice addition for like spring summer because they're not in like an overly heavy or hot fabric another thumbs up on primark okay so the next thing i got was like a summer dress don't know how this is gonna fit but i just i just really liked the color it just caught my eye it's something a little bit different color wise i really like mustard tones for this summer and um, so yeah this is just a plain like strappy dress with like a button down detail all the way down it's got a tight waist and it does slit at the bottom as well so it doesn't go like all the way down as like a maxi it does like slit at the bottom so i feel like that's quite flattering um i got this in a size six and this was 13 pounds so yeah gonna see how that looks on okay so check primark out killing the summer dress game i love this i'm so surprised by this one because although i love the color i love the concept of the summer dress with the buttons going down the middle and the tie waist and everything i just wasn't too sure we all know that primark is sometimes not the best for fits so yeah i didn't have high hopes for this because i actually got this for my mom in my 35 pound challenge video which if you haven't seen i will pop it in the description bar below and the fit wasn't quite right on her so yeah i didn't have high hopes for this but i actually really like this I mentioned it isn't a size six i think i could have actually gone down to a size four because the strap i've pulled the dress down and tied it so it's not too bad the straps are a little big and yeah i just feel like i could have sized down a little bit more yes i absolutely love this i think it's so perfect for summer evenings it's a really nice color i've just teamed it with a chunky pair of like sort of like gladiator sandals they're so comfy though because they've got a chunky heel and not obviously a stiletto i got these from misguided actually two years ago now i think not too sure if they have any similar i'll have a look and try and list them in the description bar below yeah i think these go really nice with the dress and then i've also just popped in a black pair of tassel earrings because i think it's just sort of finishes the look off but yeah Overall, I really love this dress and I'm so pleasantly surprised and I can't believe that it's only £13. They also do a lot of colours, so check it out. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was a little play suit. This, again, I thought would be a really nice summer number. Just a simple black and white striped play suit. I definitely would, like, team a belt with this. I think, like, adding a belt would just you know give it something extra and um, yes yeah, so it just goes into like shorts at the bottom and then on the back it's just got a really nice sort of bow tie detailing adjustable straps which is perfect so i feel like this could probably fit really nice what size did i get this in so i got this in a size six and this was 13 pound and it's really good quality guys as well it's lined so 
I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is what the little pinstripe play suit looks like on. So I'm not gonna lie, I normally am quite funny when it comes to play suits because I don't like them too skimpy and short. I don't like them too tight on this area and they just have to fit me nice. But I actually really like this one. To be completely honest, it is more of a higher play suit than I would normally wear. I do normally like them um, just to sort of, you know, show up a little bit of cleavage and be a little bit flatter in here. Um, but yeah, it's a bit more of a higher neck. So obviously from side, like your cleavage looks okay, but you obviously don't have anything on show. It's a little bit more reserved in that department. It's got adjustable straps, which is great. It's also got a bow on the back. Ignore my little clip. I've just done that purely because I haven't had time to make a another hole on this belt yeah so i'm just improvising there until i make another hole on the belt always have to do that that's just like petite waist problems yeah it fits lovely another little play suit that i really love okay so moving on to swimwear i didn't actually get that much swimwear because everything i saw was not in my size why does that always happen honestly any time that i see something that i like somewhere wise in primark they will have my size in the top but never the bottom it's like so frustrating because i do genuinely think primark have some beautiful swimwear at a really affordable price so the only item that i managed to get in my size was this little white bikini so i'm just going to quickly show you so the main thing for me was that I really liked the fabric of this bikini. It's in a really nice ribbed fabric, a white ribbed. It just feels so much more expensive than like how much you're paying for it. And I just love these like gold um, detailing zips. They're like zips that go on the side. Um, I got these in a size eight in the bottom. They were five pounds, so so affordable. And then to go with it, you've just simply got this top, which you can either wear as a bandeau top or you can wear it as a halter neck top. So you've got these strap options there. Um, I got this in a size 10 on the top because the A looks really small and I don't know, I didn't know what to go for, but I thought, no, I'm gonna get the 10. Again, it's just got the matching detail to go with the bikini bottoms. And this was eight pounds. So all in all, that was 13 pounds for a bikini, which for me is just, that's so affordable. And then, wait for it, I found the most beautiful, amazing little cover up. I just think this looks so expensive. Like, I feel like this is something that could be in like, accessorized for like 35, 40 pounds. I know they normally have like a lot of cover ups. The quality is just so amazing. So this was only um, 12 pound. I got this in a size medium and I just love this. Like it's just so beautiful. It's got like wide sleeves, just like really lacy and floaty. And then it's got like the tassels at the bottom and it ties up around the waist. This just to cover up over like your bikinis will just look so stunning. And it's also got a cut out bit on the back. I just think this is beautiful. So I really love that. I got it in a medium because I didn't have any other size, but I think I probably would have sized up anyway. So this is what the bikini looks like on. I didn't actually know whether to do a try and clip for this or not because I'm not the most body confident at the moment. I've honestly not been to the gym in so long. I'm actually getting back on with my fitness and exercise regime now. So hopefully by the time I get to Dubai, I'll be feeling so much more confident about myself. I know to a lot of people, everyone will be like, oh, you've got such a good figure. But I think everybody always has their own body hangouts, don't they? So yeah, it's all about just feeling comfortable, I personally think. But yeah, so I've tried it on because I want to show you what it looks like because there's no point in showing you things and you can't actually see what it looks like on. So yeah, this is what it looks like on. I do really like it. I think the quality of the bikini is really good. I love the ribbed fabric. I love the texture it adds to it. it. Makes it look so much more expensive. The only thing is, I do feel like I want to go down the size on the top. It does feel like on the back of it, a little big. And then hence why it's not really doing a lot for my boobs. Like, I don't have the smallest boobs. I don't have the biggest boobs. I'm just like, at the beginning somewhere. Um, but I obviously want to make sure that they look good like in a bikini you know i want to feel confident and comfortable so i just feel like dropping a size it will just help them a little bit more because at the moment it's a little bit big on the back and just yeah overall on the boobage area and i got a size 10 in the bottoms and these actually fit like okay like there's nothing to say about these like they fit nice but yeah overall i really like this bikini it's really affordable and yeah i love this so i think i will be keeping this okay so the next thing i picked up was something that was actually in the sale now i wasn't too sure about this but my mum was like no i think that style look could look really nice so obviously i trust my mum's opinion because my mum does have an eye for fashion too so yeah i got this little floral play suit so it's just this simple floral play suit it's in a nice crepe fabric it's a quite a thin fabric 
it's got like pink floral detail on it obviously goes to shorts um, it's got a high neck and then it's got these really cute like wide sleeves I think this again like teamed with a belt just to like bring it in a bit and flatter it will look really cute and then just like a nice pair of like sandals or something I think this could really work okay so this is the high neck floral play suit this is actually quite nice. I like I said, I don't normally go for things that are like a quite high neck. I don't know why, just not normally my sort of style. I normally like something just with like a V-neck or a scoop neck. But yeah, this was in the sale and this was only five pounds. So for five pounds, you really can't go wrong. Got really nice sort of like flary sleeve as well, which I really like. And yeah, it comes to a nice length. I think with places you always have to watch it if they're like too short because personally for me, I don't like them when they're like overly short. I've seen the Primark belt around the waist as well, just to obviously cinch it in, add some little bit extra. And yeah, I just teamed it with the black sliders that I'm already obsessing about and definitely going to be my new favourite shoes of the summer. I feel like I'm getting so hot, there's so much to show you still. Okay, so let's move on to a few little bits that are in the bottom of this bag. So the next pair I picked up was a pair of sunglasses. So I'm always buying sunglasses from Primark, they're so cheap. I've lost like one of my favourite pairs of sunglasses from Primark, so I had to get something to sort of replace them. So yeah, I got these like cat eye ones, these were only £2. This is what they look like. You can't really see with that bulky thing on. But yeah, I think these are quite like fashionista, to quite cute. Um, and yeah, they was only £2. They also did them in red, I believe. So yeah, I really liked those. The next thing I got, oh, I absolutely love this. I feel like this looks so much more expensive than what it is. Like, do you know when you see something and you're like, excuse me, is that really Primark? Yeah, that's how I felt about this item. So it's just this gorgeous belt. So let me show you. So it's just got this gold end of the belt. And then it just has these gold stud details with like this lining around the outside of the belt. I just think this looks so expensive. And then look, the end is like that as well. I think this looks a really expensive waist belt. Like this is something I feel like you'd see in Topshop for like £15. And this was only £4. Um, so yeah, I think this like style with some outfits is going to look insane. And I really like this. So yeah, got that. Next thing I picked up was just some compulsory face wipes. I've actually been using some from Primark. I never thought I would. I normally use the PS Pro ones, but I couldn't find them there. They're like slightly more expensive. I think they're £2. So only a pound more expensive. But anyway, I have also been using the Argon Facial Cleansing Wipes. These are for dry skin, so I feel like they've got a little bit more moisture moisture to them than like the other face wipes in Primark. So yeah, these are only a pound for two packs, so that's a bargain. So I got those. Thing I picked up was a couple of bits from the beauty section. So the first was some eyelashes, and um, I don't know who I saw these on. I'm pretty sure it was like Lauren Pope or someone. I'm, I swear she was wearing these so so lashes, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this style as well. And the New York ones, they're just very me wispy, sort of like a big and glam. I don't know if you can see that, and um, but yeah, these are five pounds. So obviously not the cheapest for Primark. I know you can buy the like one pound lashes. But these are like better quality. I also picked up the Stale Day Gel Eyeliner. I've about ran out of my eyeliner and I normally just use a collection one that's £2. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try a Primark one because I'm always so impressed with Primark's makeup. There are a few hits and misses, but on a whole, for the price that you pay for Primark makeup, you cannot moan. Some of it is like, replaces like my Anastasia Beverly Hills and higher end makeup because it's that good. So yeah, I wanted to try like a gel eyeliner because I've been getting into like having more of like um, a wing sometimes when I've been doing eyelash and stuff. So yeah, anyway, I picked up this one, £2. It just looks really good actually. Well, I mean, you can't tell it looks really good from the packaging, but it looks nice packaged. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so that is one bag finito. And let's move on to the next bag. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from Primark, I feel like so excited about this guys, like really excited. You guys know I love a two piece, I love a cord, I live in them, like I'm wearing one today. So this one is a jacket and skirt set. It wasn't actually together. I feel like Primark always miss a trick by doing this. They just have things that match but don't put them together. And I just think, guys, like, get your heads together. Like, if that was me working in that shop, I know that like, people have, they have plans and sometimes they have to follow them, but I don't care. I'd be like, look, trust me, this is going to sell. They need to go together. Because... I know for a fact when girls see things together, they're going to be like, right, I want that and I want the matching top. So it's a really good marketing strategy. So if you're watching from Fast, then trust me, it will work. So at the front of the shop, I firstly spotted this really nice white denim 
jacket. That was like really hard to get my words out. Uh, yeah, so I spotted this nice white denim jacket. I don't actually own a white denim jacket. I might do, but I think it's a bit on the cheapy side. Like, it doesn't feel that good quality. So I wanted a new one, and I just really like this one. I just think it's a plain white denim jacket. It was only £12, and yeah, you cannot go wrong. So I picked that up in a size 10. I like my jacket's a little bit bigger, as you know. And then as I was browsing around the store, I then came across this, which is a white denim A-line skirt. And they are exactly the same denim, exactly the same colour, these two teamed together will make the most adorable little outfit for spring. But yeah, obsessed. So I got the A-line skirt again in a size 6 and that was only £8 and I really like that. So that is a cute little outfit. I don't know about you guys but I am literally, seriously, in love with this outfit. I am gobsmacked guys. I can't believe this outfit is head to toe Primark. Head to toe Primark. It looks so good it fits perfectly this is one of the nicest outfits i picked up from Primark in a long while well i personally feel it anyway i'm just living for this outfit for the summer so i'm just going to quickly talk you through it so this is the sort of denim two piece that i've teamed together on love it size six fits perfectly i wasn't too sure on the size if i needed a size eight or not but six is fitting me perfectly the denim jacket to go with it i got in a size 10 again perfect sizing because i like it oversized i don't like it to be super fitted and then the body this body i'm just going to come in closer this body fits insane it fits so snug it fits really well i like the crotch area because sometimes the bodies they can be a little bit long or not fit that well but no it fits perfect and the straps although they aren't adjustables they are fitting me amazing i finished the outfit off i just teamed a six pound primark pearl studded flats with this and you guys know me that i'm not even normally a flat sort of person but i feel like i'll be living in these in the summer also i'm sorry but this belt can we believe that this belt is also a Primark? Like, this is £4. Like, I just think this looks so expensive and high-end. I just, if you see this belt, you need to get it. Because, again, I feel like this is going to be a staple accessory in your wardrobe for this summer. So, yeah, definitely a big thumbs up for me, this one. Okay, the next thing I got is just a simple cover-up, really. Nothing special. But sometimes the most basic things can look good when they're like styled up with like their accessories. So it's just this little simple black play suit. So as you can see, it's in quite a thin fabric. So that's why I feel like it would be perfect to shove over your bikini. Um, it's just got sort of like floaty sleeves and like a floaty bottom half, which I love. Only six pound. I got it in a size six. And I just thought as well that just to style this up, I could just team like the belt around the middle of it. And it will look cute, like a nice... Um, like straw beach bag a nice floppy hat and that outfit will look amazing okay guys so this is just what the everyday sort of play suit looks like for holiday i always love having things like this in my wardrobe for like when i go on beach holidays because they're just so easy to chuck on over your bikini over your swimwear and they're nice relaxed and comfy i just love this sort of style because i feel like it's quite a flattering style for most you know it's got the longer length on the arm sleeves and it's also quite floaty around here so it's not dead skimpy and like skim tight and um, i've just chucked on the Primark belt around the waist just to give it a little bit of a fashionable edge and again the pearl sliders from Primark I just feel this outfit is so simple but yet you're still looking very like much on trend and stylish but overall a really nice play suit and I'm really pleased with this okay so the next thing I picked up was a jumper I know like it's a bit like do we still buy jumpers do we not but look the weather in England is hit and miss it can be raining one day it can be like 20 30 degrees sunshine the next day so I always buy jumpers if I see them because I know that they will come in use at some point. So I saw this one and I know it's a little bit different with these like tassel things but I just really liked it. There was just something that was catching my eye to this. It's like, you know what, this just with a pair of like black leggings just on a chilled out day it will look super cute. So it just says beauty queen. I just really liked the like sort of text for just what it says really. I just like the fact that it says beauty queen and I just thought these tassels were really cute. Maybe... It would have been nice if they'd have been in one colour. I'm not too sure about the four different colours. But no, I just thought, nice jumper, really good quality, really soft. So yeah, this don't actually have a price on, so I'm not too sure, but it's Primark, so it's not going to be, like, overly expensive. Okay, so this is what the oversized Beauty Queen jumper looks like on. Um, I've just teamed it with my Adidas leggings because I couldn't find my plain black leggings. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not too keen on the tassels, to be honest with you. I'm not really digging those. I wish they were just like all one colour, say like a, a black or, you know, like just one colour rather than these multicolour. Um, I don't know, I'm not too keen on these, but you could take them off. You definitely can take them off they're only attached with little loops so i might just take those off and just have it as like a beauty queen jumper because i do really like the slogan on this jumper just a plain black jumper with beauty queen so yeah i might take the tassels off and just have it like that but yeah nothing really else to say it's just an oversized jumper just really nice for like day-to-day -day casual and chills next thing i picked up was another little summer dress so i saw this on like it must have been like a new in rail that was coming out that hadn't actually been put on like the like the unit shelves yet um and yeah i just really like this cute little like daisy ditzy print is that what it's called am i just making things up um but yeah i just thought this for summer would look really cute and obviously i don't know how it's gonna fit so it might look absolutely horrific um but yeah it's just again got this like button down detail all throughout the dress and it's like a little mini version of like the mustard one does it have a tie waist yeah it does have like a little tie detail but i'll most probably maybe chuck a belt with it um but yeah i thought this could look really cute this was only 10 pound and i got it in a size six okay so this is what the little red dress looks like on this is actually very similar to the like the mustardy color that you have seen in this haul it's just a shorter length i actually prefer the shorter length like i said i don't know why but i just feel like shorter lengths a little bit more flattering on myself but yeah i really like this i think it's a perfect little dress for the spring summer time it fits lovely this is a size six it also has this little like thin tie waist strap that you can just tie how you want just to like cinch you in a little bit more make it a little bit more flattering i've teamed it with the white pearl sliders from primark and also the white denim jacket i'm just going to sling this off as well just to show you what it looks like without it on but yeah i really like this it's so 10 pound and this will just make a really cute spring summer everyday outfit okay so we are fast approaching the end i've got a few pairs of shoes to show you now so first pair of shoes i picked up was a pair of trainers i really needed a pair just like fresh white trainers because i don't actually own a pair so i saw these and i just thought these were just really like they just looked so much more expensive than what they are so these were only 12 pound and yeah i just like them like just for like going to the gym in just just even to style them up with like more dressed down things i think you can never go wrong with just like a pair of white fresh sneakers so yeah i really like these and they're really lightweight as well so i got those okay so the next thing i bought was a pair of like sliders sandals whatever you want to call them um so they're just these gorgeous black ones with these sort of like diamond details all over them i thought these would be really nice like around the pool just slip on sandals i love them okay and then the final pairs of shoes i got are actually the same but in two different colors because i liked them that much and no i will definitely be getting wear out of these during the summer months and it is these gorgeous pearl black sliders i just absolutely love these i think they look so much more expensive than what they were these were only how much were they six pound each six pound for these these look so high end so yeah i really like those and then i liked them that much that so obviously i had to pick up the white version because white is obviously very much a summer color and again for six pound you just really really can't say no so yeah i got those Whew, feel done in where's my tea that brings us to the end of the primark haul i feel like it's been such a big primark haul today i've really been impressed with some of the bits i've got i can't wait to wear them really hope you have enjoyed this if you have please remember to give it a big thumbs up remember to also click the subscribe button i do primark hauls every single month i'll see you all in my next one Bye bye